Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Let's jump off a cliff. Woohoo! Yes, I got my Elytra back. Elytra. Um, went out and fought the dragon, was working on some stuff that I really <laughs> needed it. And uh, so yeah, so we went on and got, got another Elytra. Taking it, of course, we've got the uh, the same command block arrangement that uh, Hermitcraft uses, so that you the dragon, the Ender Dragon, drops the Elytra when it is slain. Uh, that's because honestly, the end cities and end ships are just they're they're too they're too rare. They're spaced too far apart. Uh yeah. So I, I've shown you, I think this stuff over here but uh, there's been some changes hello um, Wow uh, melon farm and pumpkin farm producing wonderfully it's very nice um, they it's been completed if I showed this to you already it was in progress so let's uh, go take a look huh. so there's a lot there's a lot going on here but look at this rows and rows and rows of uh, melon and, and pumpkin uh, plants observer blocks uh, arranged such that it uh, is it uses a couple of them to, to make it to make it work it's uh, maybe maybe could be a little bit more efficiently organized but hey uh, it works and it works really well and the honestly the observers aren't that aren't that expensive it takes some quartz but you know with a fortune pick quartz in the nether is pretty easy and then underneath a lot of hoppers a lot of hoppers that was the expensive part of this Okay, so let's see what else uh, what else did I want to show you? It's getting dark and it's raining. Oh yeah. Barb makes things was was working on a a wool shop. Um so I'm not quite she's got she's got a bunch of sheep down here different colors so that she can harvest different different color walls wow it goes down farther she she added more wow Oops. and what is this out here it's a giant record player oh boy and you could probably guess what this is it is a record farm and there's a good chance uh effects fx is here Oops, come on, open. And it's working pretty well, as you can see. Uh, it's fairly manual, but, you know. Uh, let's see if we've got any more. How many 11s? This is the most rare. Ooh, got a bunch of those. Cool. So everyone can now have a complete record collection, which is great. Uh, let's show you what's going on down here. It's, uh, it's big and it's complicated, but it's pretty darn cool. All right, so this, there's a darkroom spawner up there. And then there's a home mob sorting system that puts the mobs through multiple water drops. And the first layer here, uh, there is a, the spiders pop out to the side and they drop into lava and burns them up. And then the, the next layer down, there's a villager where's the uh, there's the villager so the zombies decide to go after the villager and they drop in and they burn up down there leaving in theory just the skeletons and creepers uh so there's some skeletons that have been dropped down here let's uh skeletons are down here oh he's got a full set again and and walls between them so that they can't uh they, they don't shoot each other, because that was happening. And then over here, oh, he's got it opened up. And if I walk over here, the, the skeletons will start shooting at me. 
and if there's some creepers down on down the side there oh look there's all kinds of them then the creepers they shoot the creepers instead of me hopefully and then when the creepers die they uh they drop records uh vax fx built this um it's super cool there's some quirkiness to it and we're not quite sure why it seems to work much better in single player um, and it could be a spigot vanilla difference and animals animals are gone oh yeah he's got cats and dogs they're supposed to be here okay let me let me talk to him and figure out what's going on then I'll come back and update you so the reason nothing's going on down there is because the the uh, the, the the spawners the mob farm here is turned off um, and uh, it does it does rely on having those cats and dogs down there to push uh, scare the creepers and the skeletons into the correct shoots um, and unfortunately because they were tamed um, uh, because they were tamed the uh, if he gets hit by the skeletons if he gets shot by the skeletons the dogs and cats run to his run to his uh, protection and unfortunately th there there's a good chance that they end up jumping down into the lava in the process so uh, that's so good so all the dogs and cats here are dead uh, so we have to we have to get them replaced um, not quite sure how to do that. It'd be nice if we could put wild ones in, but they need to not be able to move. So, don't know what's going on there. Um, it's very frustrating. So anyway, that's the status of the record farm, but we got tons of records. So even if it never works again, we probably have enough records for everyone on the server. But it would be nice to make it go. Hey, buddy. Yeah, so, so Vex came by. Um, he was explaining to me what happened. It's really weird that, uh, you know, in, in the game, creepers are supposed to be afraid of cats, and skeletons are supposed to be afraid of dogs. And so he would have uh, cats sitting over here, dogs sitting over here. So the skeletons come down, they see the, uh, they see the dogs, and they run that way, and... You only need a few skeletons down at the bottom here so they would fall into the lava. Um, and then the creepers would see the cats and they'd run this way and they'd drop down here so they could be shot by the creepers. Uh, and for some reason, and again, this don't know if this is a spigot thing or if this is uh, or what, but it's a little bit frustrating that the in addition to the, the dogs going and freaking and when you get when when he gets hit because they're his dogs and cats um uh he um you know what let me try something all right so we, we did some uh, fixes on the record farm or tried to I don't know it's not working the way we're expecting it to so it's kind of weird um but I have one other thing I want to do quickly uh, and that is I don't really need this farm up here I have I have plenty of farm stuff down below FaxFX has his auto farming set up tons and tons of uh of food and well frankly I don't need it and uh, I'm constantly worried about and occasionally trampling the the crops as I land up here um, <clears throat> huh uh, so we are going to um, I'm gonna do something here I'm gonna try doing something uh, that will help with that Hang on a sec. So touch, so touch, so touch. And we can break these, break these, break these. 
Oh goodness, that weather's going to be annoying. All right, so as I think I've mentioned, and probably in this very episode, um, I live in Los Angeles, and Los Angeles has a lot of um, helipads on top of buildings. It used to be until very recently that if you built a new building in Los Angeles, well, that's not the right axe, is it? No, this is the right axe. You go there. If you built a new building in, in <clears throat> downtown Los Angeles, um, if it was above a certain height, and it's only it was only a few floors, that you had to build a uh, um, you had to build a helipad at the top, and that was so that they could do emergency evacuations in the event that uh, that there was a fire, and in the event that uh, somebody got sick. Um, so that they could get them out of the building. Uh, this rule has changed recently, um, and, and now uh, people are not... Uh, buildings can be built without helipads, uh, and it's there's some controversy over whether or not that's a good thing. But no matter. So, um, but I'm going to build one on top of my place. So that I have a landing pad to come to when I am flying back home. So let me gather up some stuff. I have to figure out how I'm going to do this. And put it together. Alright, be right back. It's gotten dark, but it's safe up here. So I'm going to keep working. Um, so I'm trying to see if these bone blocks will work in a good contrast with the red stain. Uh, clay, but I don't think so. I think I'm going to have to go with quartz because the bone block is a nice and expensive white, but it's uh, but it's got too much deep. It's got too many. Um, and it's got too much texture to it. Uh, it, it either you, <clears throat> you lay it in a, on its side like this, and it's got stripies. Which can be nice for some stuff, um, or it's got the. Eh, I don't have a ton of quartz, but I think I'm going to use quartz. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I think I'm going to use quartz. some here. I will probably have to go mine up some more. Come on. I'm in a lot of trouble right clicking today for some reason. Okay. So I think that's the way it's going to be. And I may have to go mine up some more quartz. I don't know if that'll be enough, but I have some uh, quartz ore that I haven't, uh, that I still touched down uh, in my chest. So I'm just, I just grabbed a couple stacks of that. One stack got me 32-ish blocks. So we'll see if that, uh, if this is enough. Yeah, yeah, this will be, this will be plenty. This is great. So this, so. Uh, traditionally helipads will have a big red H on them in a circle but this isn't a helipad it's an elytra pad <laughs> so I figured it should have a big red E on the top like this now downtown LA the helipads don't have an H on the top they have numbers because when there's so many buildings so tightly clustered together like that it can be difficult from the air to determine which building you're looking at. So if you're trying to go to the first interstate building, that one's pretty obvious because it's it's as tall as they get. But the, uh, but, and the, you know, like the Bonaventure is a pretty distinctive looking building even from the air. But a lot of the others are just boxes. 
So if you're trying to land to to medically evacuate somebody from, you know, say one Wilshire, you want to make sure that you have the right building. Oh, and it's big and red. E. So this is an elytra pad. Um, so I, I have to uh, figure. Oops, wrong pick. Ugh. Okay. I can always use uh, cobblestone, right? So we'll do this, and. Hey, cooperate. There we go. Uh, <clears throat> so we'll have to figure out the right approach to keep it lit up here properly. So that's going to be super important. Uh, but well, uh, I didn't want to make it out of glass. I wanted it to be more saturated than stained glass would be. So, pop, pop, pop. More torches, please. Pop, pop. Hey, pop, 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 pop. So. We'll see. And then if I go look here at my light level. Fortunately, the, the beacon gives off some light. So it looks like we're all okay. Oh, there's a nine here. But it looks like we're okay. Nine doesn't go down to eight. So we should be good. I think. So let's, uh, let's give a little test. My inventory is full. Jump off here, go flying, boost up in the air. And go where am I? Oh, here we go. Looking for home. I like your pad. There we go. Gives me a nice big target to aim for. Oh, beautiful. Super awesome. Yeah, this is good. I like this. This is super cool. Okay. Well, I think that's it. That's That was kind of what I planned to do today. I got to get back to my RPM challenge record. Um, getting close on that. Have to actually try and record the core audio tonight. We'll see how that goes. But uh, by the time you see this, it'll be long past. It'll be long done. But there we go. That was what I wanted to do today. Oh, this is super cool. I'm very happy with this. Cool. Well, thank you for watching. And uh, this is Theron. This is Minecraft Land Party. And I will see you next time. Bye.